I'm uh, here at the soccer locker room today, and uh, this is Senior Spotlight, episode six. Uh, I'll let the boys introduce themselves. Go on. Uh, I'm Shane Cronin, I'm kinesiology, pre-physical therapy major. Um, I'm from Cork in the Republic of Ireland, and I'm a senior. I'm Luke Jones, I'm a sports management major from Swindon, England, and I'm a senior as well. So boys, what is your favourite memories from playing here? Shane, you go, you go first on that one. Uh, for me, my favourite memory is probably my first goal for Emmanuel College. Um, it was a home game here, Friday night, under lights against Tusculum. Tusculum, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah against Tusculum, and uh, it was our first goal of the season, and uh, that's definitely my favourite memory. Um, probably the same as well, yeah, scoring my first collegiate goal or getting um, the game winning assist uh, for Will actually, um, freshman year, so a couple of good memories there. Thanks a lot. Um, so boys, when did you first start playing soccer? Um, I started playing when I was about four years of age and just my dad got me into it, just took me along to one of his friend's teams and ever since then I've just played with different teams to up before I came to the US. Uh, same with me. Um, I came. I started playing football when I was about four years old, just for a local team, um, and then just kept playing. And then yeah, came out to America just after I turned eighteen. So um, been here three years now. So boys, obviously the season's been pushed back to spring, but what are your expectations for the upcoming season when it eventually rolls around in spring? Um, I think it's good because we've got so many new players, so we have. We've a lot of time to gel as a team. I think last year we underachieved. Um, we got knocked out when we shouldn't have. So, I mean, this year we're going to be going to win the conference. Um, there's no reason why we shouldn't. We've got a new coach who's brought in his own ideas, um, his own way of playing, his own philosophy. So, I think as a team, we're just looking forward to the season now. Um, yeah, so a new coach, um, kind of a new environment, especially with... Um, coming into the situation we're in now with COVID and everything with the season being pushed to spring. So I think kind of just aiming for hopefully, well, yeah, to win the conference in spring and um, just go push on from that. Really. Good. And uh, Shane, obviously you just touched on new coach. How is Coach Tim, Coach Tim Star? Has the atmosphere changed much? What's the, what's the mood like in the team? I mean, for me it's different because I've had three years here under... Um, a different coach, but Tim's come in, he's been like a breath of fresh air, he's just had his own ideas. It's very, his style is very different, um, he's, he has his sessions like planned out and it's always just kind of the same schedule every week, which is good for us. Um, he's got a different way of playing um, and it's nice that we have a few months so that he can get his ideas across and get his style of play across and we have time to adapt to it as well. Uh, yeah, I think kind of the new coach coming in, uh, Tim Starr, he's um, brought in, like Shane said, new ideas. Um, he's brought in ideas he's had at previous colleges as well as kind of his experience playing as a player himself in both America and Europe. So like Shane said, a new um, breath of fresh air and hopefully can bring some success to spring and um, win the championship. Um, so obviously a bit of a strange situation this year with, uh, with COVID and all. How has COVID impacted our team and our programme as a whole and how, how are we preparing for the upcoming season? I mean, we, all, we all came back here in August expecting to have a full long pre-season and to have our first game on the 1st of September, like every year. But we were told around the middle of August that that's not going to happen, it's changed to January. So for us it was all like, it was a shock at the start because we won't be playing football. But I mean, it's just... I mean, it is what it is. The whole world's going through it, I suppose. So we just we're just training, we're staying fit, getting stronger, and I mean, we're just looking forward to January because that's all we can do, really. Um, yeah. So obviously, the situation's a lot different this time around uh, compared to previous years. So the season pushed to spring. It just kind of allows us to work in full on things on and off the pitch, especially with a new coach. Obviously, gives him time to kind of embed his new ideas and tactics to obviously the freshmen as well as us boys because it's completely new for us to all kind of um, grow into. And Luke, while you've got the mic, Shane, you pitch in afterwards. 
What is the team motto and what what does this mean to you personally? Uh, so our team motto is um, family first, so it's kind of just either if that's in training, off the pitch, um, in the weight room, just kind of putting others first um, and not just kind of thinking about yourself, kind of making sure that Obviously, there's no I in team, so making sure everyone's um, working together and pushing and getting the best out of one another. Uh, yeah, so it's, as Luke said, it's family first, so we we do everything together. Like Obviously, we train together, we go to school together, we live together. So, I mean, we have to look out for each other, number one. And I just think family first is something that ties in with our football because we're a team at the end of the day and we can't win without one another. So, I mean, that's, that's our motto since day one. And Emmanuel College as a whole as well, because that's really is an ethos here, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, ever since I came in, that's one of the first things you notice. It's like the college, is, it's like a community, you know everyone, so yeah. And finally, obviously, it's coming to an end this year's a semester and a half left. It'd be very sad to see you go, but what are your boys' hope, uh, hopes and plans for after graduation? Um, for me, it's been the fastest four years of my life, but I mean, I think after this, um, I want to go and do my master's in physiotherapy, where I don't know yet, so I don't know if I'm going to do it in the US, if I'm going to do it in Europe, if I'm going to go home to Ireland, I mean, we'll see, that's something I'll have to see in the next few months, but definitely want to do my master's in physiotherapy and continue playing. Um, slightly different, I need, I, I need a break from education. Um, been in been in education too long now, so hopefully gonna pursue a career in coaching um, back home. Um, still play, but yeah, gonna hopefully go into the coaching field um, into soccer. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm looking to do after college. Decent. Well, best of luck for the future, boys. And uh, looking forward to seeing you boys back on the field in spring. Thank you.